Enforcement Directorate has had a busy day in West Bengal as well. They have attached assets worth some 46.22 crore rupees, quote unquote, beneficially owned by former Minister Partha Chatterjee and his aide Arpita Mukherjee. This is part of a money laundering probe in the West Bengal's teachers' recruitment scam. In another big development in the state, the Chief Minister of the state, Mamta Banerjee, has passed a resolution against central agencies being misused by the BJP. This happened in the assembly. Mamta says she is behind the alleged excesses of central agencies in the state and instead has blamed a section of the BJP leaders for misusing them to serve their interests. Tamal, I'm coming straight across to you. It's interesting. Uh, that uh, West Bengal's chief minister is saying the prime minister doesn't know. It's not his doing. It's actually the doing of some leaders in the BJP who can't fight her politically and therefore are fighting her via the ED. Is that a correct interpretation of what she said? Well, absolutely. You know, very interestingly, we were not really expecting this. We were all there inside the assembly when Mamta Banerjee, while lashing out at the BJP, while lashing out at the state-level leaders, while lashing out at the excesses, alleged excesses on part of the central agencies, she also said that she doesn't like to believe that Prime Minister Modi is in know of everything, that, she, that he is doing everything. She also referred to the fact that previously enforcement directed at CBI were all coming under the Prime Minister's office. Not anymore. Now they have been shifted to the MHA. So she doesn't like to believe that the Prime Minister is in control mm -hmm. or the one dictating all of these uh, uh, actions which are essentially quote-unquote against opposition parties. So who is she targeting? She's targeting the MHA, she's targeting the other leaders, uh, the, the state level leaders, and she's saying there is a conspiracy at work. What is this conspiracy? She believes that this conspiracy is one to, in a way, hound MLAs, first coerce them, uh, break them down, and then convince them to finally join BJP. And what she's trying to suggest, there are several examples, be it Maharashtra, be it uh, Karnataka, and now for that matter, Jharkhand too, she's of the opinion that agencies have been misused against MLAs to break the government. Now, what has the other side said? BJP is saying that such resolution cannot, I repeat, cannot have any local standi, cannot have any legal standing. Why? Point number one, all this investigation which had been carried out by the central agencies, most of them are at the instruction of the court. So thus, they're all court-monitored probe. Point number two, BJP is saying that why is it that CID and the other state missionary have not been able to probe and then unearth the kind of money which had been there accumulating at somebody's place who was close to Partho Chatterjee. Mm -hmm. And point number three, they are saying that there is Supreme Court orders which had given absolute liberty to the Enforcement Directorate mm -hmm. and thus this resolution will not impair the investigation which is already ongoing. Okay. So there was high voltage showdown, face-off mm -hmm. between Trinamool Congress and BJP. Trinamool Congress says this would set the right precedent. BJP saying mm -hmm. this would set a wrong precedent. Tamal, we leave it there for the moment, going straight across to uh, uh, our guests this evening who are joining us on the broadcast. Suresh Neela Mangala is spokesperson of the BJP joining us on the boss broadcast. Thank you, sir, very much. Charan Singh Sapra, spokesperson of the Congress. Uh, good to see you here. And Prof. Jeet, uh, Professor Monojit Mandal, spokesperson of the TMC, joining us as well. Uh, Professor Monojit Mandal, since the last story we carried was from West Bengal, let me ask you this. What was the point of this resolution? What does it actually achieve? Many people will say, well, the ED and the CBI are simply doing their job. We all saw money come out from Partha Chatterjee's, uh, uh, you know, residence and the residence of his aid. Today, property has been attached. On a day that you have atta attached 48 crore rupees of property from Partha Chatterjee, uh, you have the West Bengal government passing this resolution. For what joy? Had the CB and ADI uh, been doing their duty impartially and without any bias, there would not be any need of such resolution. Mm. But we have seen, Tamal was mentioning about the court-monitored probe. Mm. Narada is also a court-monitored probe, where Mr. Shubhendu Adhikari is named in the FIR, ED or CBI. Are they investigating into Shubhendu Adhikari? Are they raiding his house? He's also talking about if CID, why CID is unable to crack these cases. I I'm saying this on mm. television. Mm. If the CID goes to Subindu Adhikari's house, mm. will they allow 
CID to raid his house, where the money and jewelry would be found. And I take this, I charge this on national television. Hmm. The CID will not be allowed to investigate, saying hmm. that this is being done by the central agency. Hmm. Look at this irony. When Subindu Dhikari was in TMC, the same BJP showed that televised press conference, you know, demonstrating that Subindu is taking money. It goes to the Supreme Court. The case is being investigated under the direction of the same Supreme Court. Hmm. Nonetheless, this person, the moment he joins BJP, hmm. he gets completely scot-free. Others are getting arrested. One of them, in fact, passed away. Very senior minister last day. But Professor Mondal, you do agree that Mr. Partha Chatterjee. Chatterjee's hands are not clean. You yourself have sacked I'll, him. I'll, the TMC I'll, has sacked I'll, him. I'll, I'll respond. So if, if you know, there are raids against him and his property is being attached, why create a fuss? So in the first place, then there has to be there there have to be raids again against the BJP dealers as well. I'm named one, naming another one. Nitish Pramanik is charged of corruption, illegal trafficking, drug trafficking, sexual har harassment, mm. and also cow trafficking, mind you, because he is also one of the masterminds in trafficking cow mm. in the North Bengal region and cases against him. What what is the ED doing? Are, are they investigating Mr. Pramanik? No, because he is now the deputy of none other than the Home Minister, who under whose apparently everything, is, uh, whose base every investigation is going on. So, so Reji, please respond to that. Please yeah. respond to that before I get the Congress spokesperson in. There are specific charges being made against the BJP of misusing central agencies as an extension of the government of India. That you know, one leader is arrested, no, no, raided, etc. in one case, but the other India. leader who has now joined the BJP, it's, which is Shubhendu Adhikari, has it. Long, it has become, they have become long arm of BJP, not the government. Sureshji, would you want to respond to that? This is a charge that is made against the BJP. Every time there is a raid against the opposition, uh, against a leader of the opposition, and we've seen quite a few of them uh, in the recent past. I have a long, long list. If I start reading, then half my show will be over. See, Shreya, yes, uh, what I fail to understand is uh, the complete denial mm. of wrongdoing, uh, you know, on the part of Park Chatterjee and uh, sort of putting the blame squarely on the BJP uh, for, you know, trying to do a proper investigation here. Prima facie, whatever has been unearthed so far, right. it is very clear mm. that, you know, uh, things uh, don't look normal or that Park Chatterjee is not, not a very clean hand, mm. right? I mean, look at the kind of wealth that is unearthed, you know, uh, from him and his uh, associates. We've all seen it on TV, on national television, so we know his hands are not clean. That is clear. Yeah. So, so why, why, why are they now playing the the political victim card uh, when when they do these kind of things? Uh, I don't understand. Um, also. If you look at uh, specifically Mamta Banerjee and West Bengal, mm. uh, look at the law and order situation, Shreya. I mean, uh, what is happening in West Bengal today? We see... Then Bundaraj, he said, today see is not law and order. For three days, we have last week debated law and order. Let's leave law and order to one side. I want you to answer the specific charge that Professor Manojit Mandal is making, that Shuvendu Adhikari is also named in an FIR in a case that is currently being investigated uh, by a court-appointed SIT. No raid against him, no charge against him, no arrest against him, but everyone else who decided not to join the BJP is being charged and raided and arrested. So these are selective investigations. Selective picking, this essentially is the larger game plan of Operation Lotus. They wanted to succeed, you know, in West Bengal by hook or by crook, which is why all these raids are taking place. This is a very basic point, Shreya. What I fail to understand is, if there is a FIR and uh, a court-monitored probe that is happening, mm. uh, the TMC can always be an impleting party. The TMC can always give a private complaint. The TMC can uh, always go to the court and question the status of the probe. Mm. Uh, they, they are absolutely free to do all these things. Have you seen them do it? I have not seen them do any of these things. Mm. They are merely, you know, trying to get some kind of political mileage 
and and you know sort of make these baseless allegations. Uh, so I mean, if you look at the kind of you look at uh, the scams that are going on, uh, uh, Partha Chatterjee is just the tip of the iceberg. Hmm. Uh, it has completely unnerved the TMC, right? I mean, there are definitely a lot more, uh, you know, uh, scams that are there uh, that uh, the, the lid will be blown off, you know, uh, soon. And and I think the, the TMC has lost the connect with the people of Bengal. Okay, okay. So you're giving a clean chit to Shuvendu Adhikari and saying, what he hai, but everyone else, they, it seems that their hands okay. are dirty. Mr. Sapra, he, just come he, in here. Again, today there was another, you know, a, another leader of the opposition who's been questioned by the ED, someone you, someone you know well, D.K. Shivakumar. Please help me understand what is the logic in the argument that the Bharat Jodo Yatra is going to enter Karnataka. It will be there for 22 days. And right ahead of that, the chief organizer, organizer of that phase, which is Mr. D.K. Shivakumar, uh, he is being targeted. Why is he being targeted? This is a case that has been ongoing since 2017, sir. to thank you for calling me for your show. Uh, secondly, regarding the ED cases, I would like to say that uh, since last eight years, mm. the whole country is watching the, you know, enforced rajniti of this enforcement directory. Mm. I would like to rather put it this way that uh, ED is being used as a, for political uh, fixing or selective targeting. Or in fact, I would like to say that ED has become a part of the toolkit of Bharatiya Janata Party you know, where they do selective targeting and they do a smear campaign, the character assassination of the opposition leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, now, rightly, uh, Monojit Mandal was also talking that in last eight years, no BJP leader has been raided, whether it is Hemanta Biswa Sarma, who was called Pani Chor by BJP itself, Suvendu Adhikari, they used to say, Bhag Suvendu Bhag. For Narayan Rane, they used to say the most corrupt person in Maharashtra. Now he's the central minister with BJP. Uh, uh, Hemanta Biswa became the chief minister. So likewise, they forget. They forget B.S. Yadurappa, the corruption cases on B, B.S. Yadurappa, mm -hmm. or maybe the Reddy brothers, or Ishwarappa, mm -hmm. a, a contractor, Mr. Santosh Shetty, he committed suicide, and his, and his suicide note he has written. Mm -hmm. That I was being asked to pay bribe, I was being asked to pay commission, and all the contractors of Karnataka government, they have written to the prime minister, no less than the Prime Minister. They have written that 40% commission we, we have to pay. We are being pressurized by the BJP leaders, by the BJP ministers. Mm. Yet no ED on these BJP leaders. So what is BJP doing? They are taking the corrupt leaders from other parties. Mm. They are washing them in their washing machine with Kamal detergent. Mm. They are not uh, targeting the BJP leaders since eight years. They are, there's no ED date on that. So selective targeting. Hence, we are saying that this ED has become an election department of Bharatiya Janata Party mm -hmm. who's helping Bharatiya Janata Party to win elections, to do smear campaign, to disturb the opposition party setup, and the BJP should have a, a clean way to politics. That's why yeah. uh, the whole... Mr. Sapra, are you telling me... Better. Mr. Sapra, you make yeah. good points and you make a very good argument and a compelling argument, and I'll let Suresh ji answer to all of that. But are you telling me for a moment, that yeah. all the cases, eight minutes, Suresh Ji, that all the cases yeah. against all opposition leaders, I mean, Tejasvi Yadav, DK Shivakumar, the Gandhis, Anil Deshmukh, Karti Chidambaram, uh, Roshan Beg, DK Shivakumar, I can go on and on, Partha Chatterjee, Anubrata Mandal, Satendra Jain, Manish Sodia, Sanjay Raut, Nawab Malik, etc. Are all these, uh, you know, are charges against all these opposition leaders cooked up? How is that possible? How is it possible for the ED to have that much time to cook up charges uh, and cases against opposition leaders? Can there be any, you know, can there be any smoke without fire? See, um, see, no, Mr. I, this question was for Mr. Sapra, actually. Mr. Sapra, you'll have to unmute yourself, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. See, every case uh, uh, has a different different merit of every case. Mm. I would not like to, you know, compare one case with another case. Mm. I'm talking about the cases in which the Congress leaders are being targeted. I'm not talking about the case of Partha in which cash and gold and everything is seen. Mm. I'm talking about the National Herald case or the case in which... Uh, 
uh, DK Shivkumar is there. Mm. These such cases show that there is a selective targeting and BJP is deliberately doing. And rather, there, there is a point in that also that since the Bharat Jodo Yatra is coming to Karnataka and it will be there in Karnataka for 22, 23 days, hmm. uh, maybe they want to disturb the Bharat Jodo Yatra also. Because BJP, you know, it uses Sam, Dam, Dand, Ved, everything they use. Yani, Satta Bal, Dhan Bal, Bahu Bal, Sab Kuch, Ye Log Vaparte Hai Ki Opposition Party Ko Kis Tarah Se Niche Kiya Jai. So, it, Rishi, it can... Rudeshi, you are scared that Rahul Gandhi ki Bharat Jodo Yatra se aisi baat bol rahe hai. Acharan Singh Sapra, that DK Shiv Kumar's targeting right now is targeting actually Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra. Suresh ji, can you hear me? Yeah, hmm. yeah. see, um, Shreya, few points here. DK Shiv Kumar in 2014 when he filed his nomination, his net assets were 40 crore. Hmm. And 2018, when he filed the nomination, his net assets were 814 crore. Hmm. Now, uh, eyebrows were raised back then, you know, on what made him made his wealth grow so exponentially and so fast. And at the time, uh, this is not a case. Yeah, can I come in? Yeah, you no, can, but let him complete no, no. his point. Let him complete yeah, his point. Yeah. I'll let you come in. Let him complete. Huh. So, um, so at that point in time itself, there was an inquiry made. And this is already at the evidence stage. So yeah, if you look at the DK Shukumar case, mm. uh, the FIR is over, the uh, you know the charge sheet is submitted, mm. and the matter is subjudice. And this is at the evidence recording stage right now. So now uh, to actually cry foul or uh, to bring in some kind of you know um, you know this uh, so-called you know uh, walkathon of uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, that he he is doing, uh, you know. Uh, and sort of, you know, make these kind of arguments, I think, uh, uh, you know, has Rakti, no... Rakti, you here for a moment. DK Shivakumar is just out of ED questioning, giving a sound bite there. Let's quickly listen in and then I'm going to come back to you. Almost this one-month job. And one more thing, I'm driving to... I am specifically telling, let my friends fight politically and the people of Karnataka will decide the, what the politics is, what is the decision of people. It is not like this. Okay. A long day of questioning as far as DK Shivakumar is concerned. His questioning, it seems, has just gotten over. He has walked out. And what essentially he's saying, I'll try and, you know, play the entire soundbite. But the part I've got is that I'd want to tell my friends. And Sureshji, he's talking about the BJP here. That if you want to fight, fight politically and the people of Karnataka will tell you which side they are on. But this is not a fair point or a fair fight as it were uh, is what DK Shivakumar is saying. Uh, eight minute, eight minute. Let, uh, maybe we'd want uh, you know, Suresh ji to respond to okay. what DK Shivakumar is saying. If you, if you look at the kind of money laundering charges that are there in the charge sheet, uh, those are extremely serious charges. If you look at the kind of money laundering that has happened, huh. uh, without any evidence, how can the court sort of summon someone? How can the court uh, order, a, a, you know, an investigation? Hmm. Uh, you know, that means you, you are basically questioning the judiciary itself here. I mean, there are uh, many questions that he has to answer, especially with regards to the assets hmm. uh, that he has amassed. And it's clearly there is a disproportionate, you know, asset uh, case that is prima facie visible, and okay. the probe is going on. You know, now, if we take out, uh, if we take out a of, list of uh, all the leaders whose it. assets have jumped many folds, are they only opposition leaders, Mr. Suresh? You have to ask yourself that question. Manojit, you wanted to come in here. Yeah. No, Shreya. So first of all, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I'll, 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 I'll talk about. You know, you're talking about the AD's record. Huh. The, it is record so minute, in huh? this country, I think is known to everyone, not even conviction in terms of conviction, not even half a percent. But look at the amount of raids that they are conducting in the last seven, eight years. Mm. It went up to 2,600%. Conviction, just 0.5%. Raid, 
specially and and out of this 26 say 600% it all goes to the opposition 570 opposition leaders in the last 7 8 years ed and cbi have targeted out of which 36 are from my party mm. including including i tell you my general secretary and his family his wife was not even spared when you know she had a baby of 9 9 10 months old just before the assembly election. And another case in point about CBI, Madan Mitro, Sudip Bandapadhyay, Tapos Pal, all of them were big TMC leaders. Sudip Bandapadhyay is still the leader of the parliament in, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the Lok Sabha. Mm. They were all arrested by CBI ED. What happened to in these cases in the last seven, eight years? What are you talking about, sir? And none, none from your side, Hemant Bishya Sharma, Sivraj Singh Chawan, this Karnataka uh, uh, constable, you know, case, and your your Haryana government is with a family of the convicts whose two generations are in the jail because of recruitment scam. What are you talking about? Are you all dudka dhula hua ho? You are only singularly targeting opposition, especially Mamtadi, the only woman chief minister in this country, and her family. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at look at the irony here at the moment. Any one of these people, the opposition leaders, switch sides to the BJP, as my friend from Congress was rightly naming, they become absolutely washed off their crimes. Mm. Nitish Pramanik in Bengal, Shubhendu Odhikari in Bengal. In fact, I tell you, Shubhendu is not even accepted, accepted properly by the old BJP cadre chair in Bengal. They are now going in three different directions. Shubhendu, Dilip Ghosh, Is and the president, state president. You so answer to the question, what is the rate of rate of conviction for CBI and ED, and why these rates, you're just only maligning the families, mm. the opposition leaders, their reputation, nothing happened. I gave an example, Modern Mitro, Sudip Bandabadai, Tapos Pal, who passed away after, after, after he was in jail. Sultan Ahmed, he was a minister in the central government, our leader, passed away after he was interrogated by the CBI. Nothing happened to these cases. What are you talking about? You are specifically these, you know, these uh, institutions have become harassing for the only only for the opposition leader. And you are just scoring brownie political point, trying to break their home like you did in Maharashtra. In Jharkhand, two of your MLAs were found with cashes. So uh, 50 lakhs or one crore cashes, they were, they, were, they were arrested in Kolkata. What are we trying to do? They, apparently, they were coming from Assam. And they probably they made the chief minister of Assam and they tried to break the Jharkhand government. Are you doing any, any CBI raid, raid, ED raid out there? I, I, I'm charging. Why are you not raiding the leader of your party who have also amassed unproportionate wealth? I'm named one Shubhendu Odhikari. Suresh what ji, are you doing with them? Suresh ji, yeah. one thing is the conviction rate. After yeah, all these so, raids huh, by the CBI and yeah, ED. Yeah. CBI and and ED. Oh. Please tell me, please tell me, uh, how long has the National Herald case been going on? Since 2008. It's yes. 2022. What was case? Ka? Tejasvi Yadav, and Sharda, the raids, Sharda, I named Sharda, Sharda as well. Tejasvi Yadav again raided. Since when has that case been going on? The IRCTC scam, as it were, 2008. It's 2022. What is this Rip Van Winkle syndrome that the ED and CBI have, sir? Suddenly, when they they wake up and say, "Oh, See, there's a scam um, pending. We need to go yeah. question people because they are becoming in, inconvenient right now." See, what, what we require is, you know, why the investigation is slow or why the judicial process is slow uh, is a debate, is a different debate. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, the judicial reforms, uh, in terms of the kind of, you know, fast tracking of, you know, certain cases, right, especially rape kind of cases uh, where we need to fast track. Uh, in terms of the... Uh, enforcement directorate in terms of corruption, uh, you know, the kind of fast tracking we need to do. I think there is definitely a scope for judicial reform. Now, to no, say I think it's very politically very convenient for these cases to drag on. Uh, Charanjit Singh Chapra, it's, uh, Chapra, it's very convenient, politically convenient for these cases to dra drag on. The, these are these yeah, are of course the way the way BJP is working the the way BJP government is working and ED under them is working it it looks clear that uh, they can drag 
uh, the case to any number of years. And as far as my uh, friend from BJP, the BJP spokesperson was talking about the assets of Mr. D.K. Shivkumar. Mm. I would like to point him out that uh, uh, what about the assets of Mr. Uh, Amit Shah's son, Jay Shah, whose assets rose 15,000% in just one year. Why no ED on him? Why no inquiry on him? And when the assets of Adani has risen, he has become fourth richest person of the world in just three years. Why he is not looking at it? And Adani port, thousands of crores of uh, drugs is being uh, you know found over there on the Adani Mr. port. Sapra. Why there is no investigation from any Mr. agency? Sapra. Why there you is know, no you investigation talk about from politicians, any agency it's on one the thing. But I'm here, what I'm, the limited point I'm making is that you talk about politicians, it's one thing. If a businessman is making money, it's his job to make money, na, sir. Now you're saying, why has his wealth job, risen his, so his much? Job, his job, no, no, his, his job is to make money, it's okay. But then at least the agencies should look into it that how he's amassing such, uh, so much wealth uh, about Jay Shah. Why no ED inquiry on Jay Shah? Why no ED inquiry on Ishwarappa? Why no ED inquiry on the letter of uh, 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 40 contractors who have written to Prime Minister Modi that we are compelled to pay uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, commissions over here, 40% commissions? So they are giving... Mr. Sabra, but my limited, you know, my limited point to the opposition is also this. My, you know, Mr. Sapra, my limited point to the opposition also is that there is no smoke without any fire. There is something against these guys that the agencies have because of which they, they know that they can build a case there. How far that case goes, we don't know. But yeah. obviously, it can't be that I'm absolutely honest, absolutely clean. I have nothing against me. And yet the agencies are coming, knocking at my door and raiding my okay. house. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you example, Shia. What happened in uh, 2G, 3G case? What, what came out of the CWG case? They made such a hoo hala and they said that uh, crore ka ye 2G, 3G ghotala hai. Everybody uh, has come clean out of it. So this is what ED is doing. Just smear campaign, just character assassination of the opposition leaders, mm -hmm. which helps Bhatia Janata Party in the forthcoming elections, whether they are the state elections or whether they are the general Lok Sabha elections, they are just using these agencies as, as, as a part of their toolkit, you know, for the smear campaign of opposition leaders. So, Rejji, I'll give you the last word. You're the spokesperson of the BJP. Uh, it is you who had to defend yourself against uh, Charan Singh Cha Sapra and Professor Mandal. Go ahead, sir. I'll give you 20 seconds to defend yourself. I'll wrap the show with that. Misusing, uh, you know, government invest, uh, government organizations. Huh. You take S.K. Sinha and uh, the Congress Party and the CBI. Uh -huh. uh, the long history of misusing these institutions, uh, you know, is is with the Congress. As far as the BJP is concerned, uh, we are trying to um, sort of, you know, root out corruption mm -hmm. and uh, go after people who are, you know, root engaged. out corruption by only targeting the opposition. Yeah, I didn't interrupt That's you. That's a good way. You know, I don't no, want you to interrupt good me way. when I'm talking. This, this is, is not a good a, way. This is not how you debate. Only target the opposition you please, leaders. You please wait for your turn. Just target the opposition leaders to root out corruption. As, 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 as if the BJP leaders are Mr. Clean. As if the BJP leaders are Mr. Clean. BJP, you talk about Ishwar Appa. Why no raid on Ishwar Appa? Why no raid on the Kazakh ministers? Who are taking 40% commission? If you look at the most commission Khori Mr. Sapra, let Mr. Suresh make his point. Look, it's, it's a two against one debate. Mr. Sapra, it's a two against one debate. In any case, it is cute. What's going on here? Mr. Sapra, okay, 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 okay. Mr. Sapra, just a minute. I need to make my point. What is going on here? Mr. Sapra, Mr. Sapra, you've made your point. Why no raids on the commission courts? This kind of no-talking drama that Sapra is making here, People have also realized that this is the Bhajab ki chori. They don't have a presence. They don't even have the capacity to be the leader of opposition role. And they are coming and talking here. I'll give you another example. Okay, you know, Mr. Sapra, Mr. Sapra, Mr. Sapra, Mr. Sapra, you don't need to talk over Mr. Suresh. I I have given everyone time to speak. Let Mr. Suresh make make his point before he goes, because this any case was an unfair debate. This is two against one. So let let Mr. Suresh, Mr. Suresh, please. He's just changing. He's changing the goalpost. 
Shreya is changing the goal post. Why is not Nobody answering the leader of BJP? Why you are not speaking when your turn comes? अच्छा मिस्टर सुदेश जी आई विल आस्क यू अ पॉइंटेड क्वेश्चन मिस्टर सापरा अब भाई रुक जाइए मिस्टर सापरा रुक जाइए वेट ना जस्ट अ मिनट लेट एंड एंड नो वन विल इंटरप्ट व्हेन मिस्टर सुदेश स्पीक्स मिस्टर सुदेश आई एम गोइंग टू गेट गिव यू टेन सेकंड्स टू रिस्पॉन्ड प्लीज आंसर द चार्जेस दैट आर बीइंग मेड बाय द टीएमसी द कांग्रेस एंड द आम आदमी पार्टी आर ओनली लीडर्स इन द ऑपोजिशन कर corrupt that the ed and the cbi need to raid them only and everyone is absolutely clean in the bjp irrespective in, of what cases are against them in court in surat there is a bjp district vice president named pvs sharma on whom enforcement directorate has done a raid 2.7 crore of money has been unearthed from his residence hmm. he has been suspended from the bhartiya janata party hmm. this is for all the viewers to know that the ed will spare no one shubhendu adhikari Shubhendu Adhikari it is a court monitored probe i like i mentioned professor mandal can always file a impleading you know party become an impleading party there and fast track the investigation uh -huh. if, even the the kind of uh, uh, you know charges that the congress party is making and look at the kind of uh, serious uh, you know uh, uh, enquiry but in the same in court the monitored probe mr suresh opposition leaders are being raided Why? Why are they raided? Can can anyone be raided without any evidence, okay. without any wrongdoing? Okay. Is Park Chatterjee a clean hand? Is is Park Chatterjee as normal uh, as the Ganga that flows in the Hooghly? Okay, we we'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Uh, he as certainly the, the isn't. Is if that question was to me, he certainly is isn't. But is he the only? Corrupt why, person why, in the why, ecosystem why, is the question to ask. Acha, bhai, I am completely out of time. You know, it's it's already six forty-eight. I have to wrap the show. Uh, I'm sure we'll get an opportunity to have this discussion again because this is not ED raids and CBI raids on opposition leaders are certainly not going to be coming to an end anytime soon. So I'm certainly uh, fairly certain. Not till twenty twenty-four. It will continue. Oh, acha, chali. So we we'll, we'll have many <laughs> many occasions to yeah, have this debate again. We'll we'll yeah. drop it. Uh, we will we'll wrap this right. now thank you very much suresh ji thank you for joining us charan singh sapra thank you and professor monojit mandal thank you for joining us as well with that it's a wrap from me thanks for watching the news continues